to the downstairs. Not the upstairs, not the side stairs, the downstairs. Yes, Mr. Is indefinite leave of absent came out of the blue. And there are no footnotes. How nice. If you're getting a bit stuck, try using a hint. Ah, ah, ah. Two weeks ago, just after the chandelier fell. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah, ah. Ah, oh, ah, my voice. Wait, what was my voice? Oh no. What if Raoul came to watch your performance and got himself hurt? Oh, Raoul is up there with Count. Count. He must be safe then. But the people are in danger. What should I do? Hallelujah, the blessed one. Angel. Come into the glorious light, to the place with no darkness. Thou shalt come to me. What the fuck? My angel, where are you? <laughs> Let my song guide you. Follow my voice. A angel, don't go. Angel, my angel. Mr. A, get out of here once. You'll get yourself killed. Christine barely made it off the burning stage, thanks to the people dragging her out. Oops. That was the angel's message to me. I must hurry, I should go. Da -da -dum. But what about the people? Who gives a shit? <laughs> like, they can run themselves. They don't have wheelchairs or some shit, they can run. Yes, I can ask Angel to help those people. It's... Merely an earthly matter to the angel, but still. People's lives are at risk. I must go speak with the angel. Ooh, okay. Are you right? My angel, please. But I want to... <coughs> I must have breathed in the fumes. It's not good. Ooh, okay. I thought... Stop, but that was just... Whatever. The music is dramatic. Oh my god! Making me nervous. Ooh, cat. <laughs> this is some Twilight Princess boss fight. Should I look at the letter or Angel Ah Do 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 What's this letter? Who could have sent this? It's hmm. written in red. The handwriting is too messy to read. Christine I will wait for you from afar. If you wish to see me once more, then do what is written. Tell the Opera House you are ill and request an indefinite leave of absence. Have someone else deliver the letter to the managers. Then cross beyond the light, at which time you shall see me. What the fuck does that mean? What? <laughs> then cross beyond the light? What fucking light? There is 50 million lights around here. It's the angel's letter. Why would an angel need to write a letter? Like a human? <laughs> hmm. But why is he not speaking to me like he's he always does? Something must have happened. Oh no. I must go to meet my angel at the earliest possible moment I can. I shall go ask for an indefinite leave of absence. I think my voice changed by the way, but I won't change it back now. It's better like this. I finished with the letter then. I wonder if there's anyone still in the opera house. Why the fuck would anyone still be in the opera house when it burns to the ground? Like a chandelier fell. Wouldn't everyone try to escape? Did everyone evacuate? I don't know. They should. I wouldn't stick around, would you? Hey, Yamas. Oh. Uh, oh, so from voice. Oh, you're still here, Christine. Are you right? Are you unharmed? I'm okay. What about the others? The fire brigade came quickly, so they managed to stop the fire before it spread. That's a relief. Anyway, what are you still doing here? I stayed behind because the younger dancers were scared. Besides, I live right across from the opera house. Um, ah, wonderful. Then could you deliver this letter to the managers? I feel uncomfortable giving it to them myself. It's a rather awkward situation. What kind of letter is this? I'm requesting an indefinite leave of absence. Christine, are you right to request the request request such? <clears throat> so, like I said, it's a bit of an awkward situation. 
Okay, Christine. I give it to them straight away. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to intrude. I'm sorry I had to ask you for a favor so abruptly, Meg. It's nothing. I'm fine as long as I can be of help, Christine. Hui! <laughs> Sorry, but I must do as the angel tells me. Okay. I must go back and solve the mystery of the angel. The mystery of the angel. Ba -da -ba 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 -da! Woman. Women and children first. The chandelier was worth a fortune. Yeah, it was. Good. <laughs> Let's solve the mystery. Aha! Now the letter is done. Beyond the light. What could beyond the light mean? I don't fucking know. You figure it out. If I could just figure this out, then I could find my angel. Hmm. Hmm. What could this refer to? What does it mean? Think, Christine. Think like Winnie the Pooh. Hmm. It's making my head swirl. I'm so confused. But... I must meet the angel. Let's take it one step at a time. Okay. Beyond the light. Should I go back in or something? Uh, angel, where are you? Hmm. Beyond the light. Oh. Beyond the light. The back of the mirror, which reflects the light? But there's probably nothing but a wall behind there. How am I to go beyond the wall? Angel. Where are you? Please help me. Christine. My angel. Come to me. Believe in me. For those who believe in me shall be reborn. March on. Forward to the end. Fuck a fly. A fly is in my room. None that believed in me have ever perished. That's a lie. That is definitely the angel's voice. Boy. Angel? My angel? Angel, please answer my call. Reveal yourself and open up the light. Memorize the sequence and choose the tiles in the right order. I'm sorry. I don't know what that was right now. I might have ADHD. <laughs> the autism. Bing, bing. Ha. Huh? Oh shit. Bing bong bing. Was it this one? Did I get it right? I don't know, did I? <laughs> I forgot the last one. What use is this? Ah! Whoa! Wow! Yo, there's a door! Wait, what happened to the mirror? Did the mirror just magically vanish or did it uh go like down or up or to the side? Like did it Slide away? What? Oh god. Let go of me! Let go! I can't see anything! Help! Can anyone hear me? Help! Hey, anybody! Let go of me! Let go! No! Ah! My clock! Sorry, I drank something. My clock was going off and I was like, okay, I'm gonna drink some alcohol. No, it's coffee. This fragrance, if we quit this fucking word, the smell, I know the smell in box five. Angel, my angel, help me. The Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> a horse, there's a fucking horse. I'm unable to move. Wait, this it's a horse main decoration. The one I gave to Shiza. Yeah, yeah, the horse that got that disappeared. Where I was like, did <laughs> Did he fucking steal a horse? So <laughs> did the Phantom of the Opera steal a horse to bring it to the underground area of the opera house? That's the funniest shit ever. Why? <laughs> horse! <sighs> I miss Run away! <laughs> huh. Oh! Oh! Oh god, there's the phantom! 
My Christine. My angel. <laughs> it looks so fucking funny. Me. <laughs> she looks like she ate something bad and now she has to throw up. But she's like, mm. Mm. it's almost there, but it's not coming out, you know? The worst moments. Ah. Bleh. What the hell? Oh, I thought he dunked her down in the water like, fucking wake up, bitch! Nice picture. Finally, a new thumbnail picture. Christ! Now nah, that's very pretty. Look at this. Ooh, that's so nice. It's so fancy, this... The, what, what? Like, as fancy as this is, it's very impractical, no? Like, who has a coat like this? Aren't you cold underneath there? And... Why all the candles? It's very dangerous with her hair. And okay, it looks very nice though. Okay, thank you for the new thumbnail picture. Woo! <coughs> she just falls overboard. Woo! I've got a headache. Why is the mirror so foggy? Uh -huh. Oh, but that's not her room, is it? Is this my dressing room? It's so dark. Oh, that's a scarf that she lost. This scarf? How is it here? I definitely lost it. So wait a second. So, um, there's her dressing room. And then there is the mirror. And there it goes through the mirror to a boat that leads to another room that looks just like her dressing room. Wouldn't it make more sense if the dressing room, her dressing room, would open up to this dressing room here on the other side and then there would be a boat afterwards? Because the phantom would have to, every time he wanted to talk to Christine, he would have had to go from here, this dressing room or somewhere else, over the wherever the fuck river with the boat to get to the mirror that is the door to christine's dressing room every single time he wanted to talk to her that seems like a very complicated way to get out or whatever i mean it's a bit you know what i mean like there's the dressing room and then there's the way and then there's another dressing room the one we're in right now and he always had to cross this path here to get from A to B. Seems a bit stupid, but whatever. Who are you? Come on! That is a difficult question to answer, as I am known by many names. Carl. Harold. Elmo. Or the Cookie Monster. I don't know. The last one was my girlfriend. She liked the cookie monster a lot. Had sexual awakenings with it. It was very wild. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> Voice of my angel. <laughs> yes. Why don't I start with one which is familiar to you? I was your angel. Ah! I mean, I knew that, but it's still a shock, I guess. No, I mean, I knew that. <laughs> I, I knew that the Phantom is the... Angel of Music, but I didn't want to say anything because maybe someone didn't know and it's like, whoa, that's crazy. You know, like, I don't want to spoiler too much. Um, oh, I was your angel. Top hat, a pale face, a worn cloak, a tall fragment, black hair. I have no joke for that. <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera! That too is one of my names. Absolutely right. That's correct. Good job, Christine. You could be a detective. Like Batman. Ah! Or Sherlock Holmes. Or Agatha Christie? No, wait. She wrote the thing. What's the name of the lady in... Uh, what is this one with the typewriter opening? I never watched it, but it's very popular. I forgot. Uh, murder is her hobby, exactly. Down, lady. But uh, please, call me Eric. I'm sorry, I kind of get lost there. <laughs> Eric, the prince from Ariel. Just that he is written with a C, I think, at the end. And my mine is written pretty German. Aren't we in France? 
as he is the real foundation of those two. Ah, no, this can't be. My father has. Oh, my angel, please awaken me from this nightmare. <laughs> Christine, you're calling for me again. I'm right next to you. <laughs> lies, lies. How can my angel, how could he? Father, you promised to send me the angel of music from heaven. This has nothing to do with your father, Christine. I'm not an angel sent by your father. I fucking lie to you. Because I'm crazy. I am simply Eric. A man who's been watching over you. Like a real stalker. This is weird. Uh, this makes no sense. Then I... I've been... Do not despair, Christine. In spite of everything, I tried my very best. Ah, I gave you music lessons, made you Margaret, and dropped the chandelier to warn those who were plotting your downfall. Chandelier? Then I, I played the lead role because... No, no! This can't be everything it was an utter lie! My angel, no, ah, the chandelier, everything from the beginning was a lie. Ugh. Ugh, this must have been hard for you to take in. Please rest, my love. Oh, no. <laughs> the man behind the mask. Is that not a song? The man behind the mask. I don't know. I feel like that's, a, that's in a song somewhere. Anyways, there it is. <clears throat> Christine smells the same fragrance that she came across earlier in box 5 and thinks that the phantom has kidnapped her. Christine realizes that it was the phantom who has been causing all the incidents in the opera house. Yeah, because he fucking told her. <laughs> uh. Yeah. As Christine hears the voice of the angel, she tries to find him. Christine realizes that the angel of music, who she's trusted and depended on, was the phantom of the opera all this time. That is actually quite scary and a big... What's it called? Loss of trust? Break? Break of trust? I don't know. Like you're... Uh, she's sad. Is what I'm trying to say. The angel of music. Wait, it can't. It can't go further. Okay. The angel of music is in fact the phantom of the opera. They are one and the same. A human named Eric. Oh my god. Eric. Oh, da is he. Yeah. There he is. Fifty years old. The phantom of the opera. He's fifty years. Wait, how old is she? Twenty years. Oh, that's. Kinda gross, man. Stalking, um... You're 50 years? Man, you're... <laughs> you're 50 years old? She is 20? That's, uh... A bit awkward. Nah, okay. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay. Whatever.